shit, we are locked in here, man. Hello? Let me out! Oh no. Let me out, please. Please let me out. Don't clap and laugh at me. Hello? Let me out. Just let me out. Hello friends, welcome to Friend of Us. Tonight we are playing a game, a psychological horror game called Dreamless. So a little bit about the game. In a remote provincial town, teenagers mysteriously disappear every 25 years. You're a high school student about to turn 18. But what if you become the next victim? That sounds scary as if. I could read some more about it, but you know what? Let's just jump into the game and play it. Act 1. Dream? We'll find out. And a long ass creepy corridor with lights at the end. Oh, are we dead already? Are we walking to the light? Will we find God in there? Maybe. Hello? God? Jesus? I don't think that was God. It looks nothing like I imagined. Morning. Another tough morning. Why is it tough? Oh, because you're a teenager, of course. Every morning's tough. <laughs> Just want to sleep. Look at the graphics here, though. Hello? John? Yes? Hey John, how are you? Alright, we're going camping as a group today. Well, I got sick all of a sudden, and Jenna and Emma went out of town, and plans got cancelled, unfortunately. I guess we could go one of these days. Oh, that's too bad. Too bad. If I'm not mistaken, you're filming something, aren't you? Some wits for the blog? Very rare, but yes. Have you heard about International Horror Blogger Festival? Well, I have not. Whoever shoots the scariest abandonment vlog gets a million. A million what? Hmm, I wonder if you're suggesting I go off alone in an unknown place with a camera. Where am I gonna find you an abandoned place? Don't worry, I went by Mrs. Martha's house the other day. Empty place, nobody. You can go there, squeal like a girl and go home. And tomorrow, we go camping together. Sounds like a plan. Mrs. Martha? She died a long time ago. I don't know. I don't know. Sounds appealing, but still, I think it's dangerous. It's also that bloody week of the dead thing. This week? You're out of your effing mind, man. Everybody knows it's a cover-up to take out people who messed with the mayor. That's bullshit. Remember that idiot who disappeared 25 years ago? You think the curse took her? Fuck it. She scratched the mayor's brand new SUV and disappeared a week later. Coincidence? No, of course not. So get going and tomorrow you can show us how you squealed like a girl. Oh, F you, man. See you later. So, this week... I have to read a little bit more <laughs> from the Steam description so you know what this week is. Every 25 years, horrifying events occur in a lost town in the south. For one week, August 1 through 7th, referred to as this week. Teenagers mysteriously disappear. City officials have long ago given up on the mystery and are simply closing 
missing person cases. Advising residents to stock up on the essential supplies and not to leave their homes. But even such measures don't save the day, and more people go missing every year. It's a serial killer who has passed his craft from generation to generation to blame for these horrible disappearances? Or is it a curse? I don't know. We find out today. Are these our friends? My classmates Will, Jenna, Emma. We love to get together and spend time together. Okay. Gotta pack up. Only a couple hours left until sunset. Everyone shoots scary blocks at night. But what else could they do? Okay, camera, backpack. I don't really need anything else. Okay. What's this? Cigarette? The craving for tobacco. You started in my body more than a year ago. I have to quit. You do. What's this? I don't know. Whatever. Have we got a camera? Is this the backpack? It is. We have to get out now. It'll be night before I get there. Fly with a missing girl. So is that... Oh, it was a guy that disappeared 25 years ago, right? Son, I've gone to work. The night shift. Dinner is in the fridge. Okay. Thank you, mom. Or dad. Door. Hold to use. Okay. That was a weird way to exit. You need to take a backpack with a camera record. A little intro. Didn't I get the backpack and the camera with me? Oh, it's right here. It's so dark, I can't see, man. Here we go. Greetings, dear subscribers. Today, we will visit this, ahem, marvelous place that once belonged to a wicked old lady. Okay. Do we have night vision or something? I don't see much. F enable night vision. Okay. Let's head inside. There should be no one, you know? The old lady died. I should put my backpack down and look around. See if I can find anything interesting. Oh, I'm sure we're gonna find some interesting stuff in here. Hello? Is anybody home? Getting very windy. Oh, there we go. Is that an invitation? Do I even want to to take you up on the invitation? Got toothpaste. What's it called? Clear tooth? <laughs> Best for keeping your mouth clean. It is true that in the time it has been lying here, its use is likely to do fatal damage. Is that old? <laughs> Can I take a shit? Oh, look at these bugs. Got a buggy problem. This door is locked. Oh, can we close this window? It's so windy in here. We cannot. We will get a cold from this draft, you know? It's not good. A seven. 
AM, I suppose. No, PM. Paper. Damn kids, every day they harass me and my grandkids. They come in droves, throwing sticks, rocks and other trash. The city department was cool about letting me off the hook. But who will compensate for the broken windows and clean up the garbage scattered around the house? I'm so fed up. That's how the old lady sounds. I always wondered why she was hated by the whole town. Yeah, why? It's locked as well. Oh, she also has the flyer of the missing girl. Right, 681. Calling, <coughs> calling a demonic entity is carried out in an area with maximum paranormal activity. Place of dead people, animals. In no case is it recommended to call especially dangerous ghosts, which can cause irreparable damage. The procedure itself, draw a pentagram with blood, or better effect, use the blood of an innocent victim. So, uh, that's why people are missing every 25 years, because they need to sacrifice an innocent child. Place five candles around the edges of the pentagram. Light the candles. Put a personal thing of the deceased. If you do not know what kind of thing it was, use soft toys. They are always attached to the souls of deceased children. Use soft toys? Read aloud the following. That soul come to us again through the barrier of life and death. Three times. The so soft eyes, uh, soft toys, I guess, means like a teddy bear or something. So your grandmother was into the occult. Interesting. Think if I play with this ritual on camera, I definitely win the contest. What is it? A pentagram in blood? Sounds creepy. I didn't bring any paint. Damn it. I guess a little blood won't hurt to win the contest. I just need to find a knife. I saw candles in the house. Light there in my backpack. Otherwise, how could I smoke? <laughs> the urge to smoke saved me. The toy should be in the playroom. I guess. Yes, we find to need to find a knife. And a soft toy. And some candles. Ew. They reek of something dead. Okay. Yeah, flower. An unopened bag of flour. Probably expired. Probably should have gone into bread or some pancakes. But I guess it didn't. Okay. Hey, I found a knife. Can I take it? No. Okay. Oh, use carpet? Can we use the carpet? Or will the pentagram be under it? It is. Okay, we found the pentagram then. Can't we do anything with it? I guess we need to find the knife, but we found a knife. Hello? Who's whispering in my ear? Stop whispering, please. We have a candle. I can't take the knife. Is that a pig squealing? Toaster, man. I don't like that whispering in my ear. It was scary, man. We have another candle here. 
Must be the wind, right? Definitely just the wind. Just the wind. Only the wind. Ah! Sorry. It's too loud. Okay, stuff is happening. We can't get upstairs though. This door's open. Hello? You have a sheep teddy bear. Hey sheep. Is this? Can we use this as a soft toy? Can't take it so. Suppose not. This isn't the place. Hello? This game is paranoia inducing. <laughs> it's not working. Smarta probably spent a lot of time listening to the news and various humor podcasts. And the grandkids were playing video games. It's a wonder no one's touched any of this stuff yet. Oh yeah, I'm playing video games here. Oh, I remember those sweet days. When I was a kid, sitting on the floor, playing the Nintendo, or Sega. Is this? I think this is the Atari, right? Maybe. And I did see a candle in the bathroom as well. It's only the wind. It's just the wind. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. How many candles do we have now? Holy air fryer. That was not the wind because I haven't seen that ball around here before. Grab it. Wee. Throw back. Is that a toy we can use for this ritual, maybe? Oh, we need to find or take the light there, yeah, from our backpack. Okay, I can't. Do need to find more candles? Can't put them here. Oh, we have four. We need one more. Okay. I forgot that we had that inventory thingy. Let's throw some more ball. Yay! I need one more candle. Hmm. Where could it be? I don't remember seeing another candle anywhere. Oh, there it is. I see it. To now put the candles in place? We do. Now maybe the knife? Maybe this is not the knife that we need. I haven't seen any other knives around here. Maybe get the, the lighter so we can light up these candles. One. 
I don't like this. Would you do this? Would you? Be honest now. Tell me in the comments if you would. I would not do this. Hello? Was this light on? Or? Don't look up, please. Okay, I'm looking down. I don't dare look up. I mean, up the stairs. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I did get warned, you know? Again? Teddy bear here. Then we need some blood. Read the spell. What about the blood? Can we take this knife now? No. I need to. Can I take this? Or do I really. Does this thing pick up on my camera? No. Oh. Microphone. Sorry, do I really have to read it? I don't remember what it said. <laughs> Dead soul come to us again through the barrier of life and death. Dead soul come to us again through the barrier of life and death. Dead soul come to us again through the barrier of life and death. I read it three times. Oh, what's this? That soul come to us again through the barrier of life and Told you we should never do this. That soul come to us again through the barrier of But he's doing it again? Why are you reading this three times? Are you dumb? Are you stupid or something? What was that? Maybe it was Will's way of playing a prank on me so I'd be scared and win the contest. There's a reason he said he'd been here before. It's starting to rain. If I go home now, I'll soak all the equipment. I think we should... Luckily, I should have a sleeping bag in my backpack. It's better than sleeping on half-rotten mattresses. A prank? How could... Uh, how could he have arranged that all this? <laughs> Would you do that ritual? Read that right three times? Even first time creepy stuff happened, you know? That's our sleeping bag. Let's go to sleep. Holy moly, man.
think I've seen those dolls before, yeah? Okay. This is like a mixture of different games that we played on this channel. Are you dreaming again? Hello? What happened to your eyes? Are you alright? Child? Do you hear me? Yeah, how can I understand you? I mean, you don't even move. Are sure I'm not a hallucination in your brain? You shouldn't have come here. Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> what? Where? You shouldn't have come here. Said Alan. I think that was just another dream. New objective. Where the hell am I? Where's my camera? Shit, shit, shit. If I don't find the camera, I'll be killed at home for sure. I don't read that fast. We have flashlight. Hello? Hello? Don't laugh at me. note today my granddaughter elizabeth and grandson alan alan that's the guy we just talked to in our dream there in a completely extinguished mood pretty much the same as always they're moving from the big city due to the death of their parents to this shithole we all feel out of sorts they're being bullied at school I'm being harassed by inadequate neighbors who have decided I'm a witch, cursing their restless kids. Uh, it's all very, very sad. My profession as a fortune teller has not helped me in life, unfortunately. I guess you are a witch, you know, doing that ritual and stuff. another teddy bear or teddy monkey jewelry okay, we have a key thank you let's find out what this key is for for this door I guess oh I think now we are upstairs yeah where we couldn't go earlier. Hello? There was not a, not a knock on the window. Is there a donkey in here? Sure sounds like a donkey, right? It's locked. I can't help you, donkey! Vase. Beautiful vase. I remember as a kid my mom loved to collect them. Are you alright in there, donkey? Suppose not. Sounds like it's hurting. Let's try and find our camera. This is the worst flashlight. I've ever seen. <laughs> She's in the basement waiting for you. But it is very much barricaded. Find a crowbar and get to the basement. I don't want to, really. Someone's waiting for me down there. A 
another soft toy. Bathroom's locked. Could we get a better flashlight, please? It's the same thing, right? Why can't I read this now? <laughs> the hell do we find a crowbar? I haven't seen any crowbars around here. Okay, I need some sort of combination. Hmm. Some sort of combination. Does it have anything to do with this? I don't think so. I don't know. Five candles. That's only a five. <laughs> we have to say things three times. That's only two digits. But there must be something, right? Two seconds. A pentagram, that's one. Five candles. That's only one, five, and three. Hmm. I don't think it has anything to do with this. But this is the only thing that we can read again. We couldn't read this or this again. Right? Maybe one, five, three, no. One, five, one, three. Maybe. <laughs> what did I say again? <laughs> one, three, five, three. Guess we need to find combination somewhere. Would it be upstairs? Hello? Today Elizabeth had her arm broken on purpose by high school students. Alan tried to fight back, but accidentally knocked out a bottle of one of the mayor's sons. We may be in for big trouble, as he is a very powerful man, who holds the whole town in his fat, nasty hands. Sounds like a terrible mayor. What is this big red button? On your belly. Oh! Jesus. 
Got a key. Scared the shit out of me, man. Elizabeth Fane, age 11. We've all felt a change in our lives at least once, right? Maybe it's just a new skirt on sale. Or maybe it's a new life. <laughs> After my parents died, my brother, grandmother and I moved to the middle of now here. Where it seems like only savages life. Ugh. Every day seems darker and darker. The city itself seems to push us away, evoking only negative emotions. It's amazing how suddenly life can turn around, changing forever. So this doesn't look like a recorder, it's an old ass radio. So that wasn't a recorded message. Can I press the button again to get the nice face back? <laughs> so I found a key. Can we get into the bathroom with it? No. This room in the kitchen, the pantry or whatever it is. this thing here earlier? I don't believe it was. So what door is this key for? Upstairs maybe? Was there a door we couldn't open upstairs? Here we go. Hello? Paint set. As a kid, I wanted to be an artist, but no one believed in me and I quickly abandoned it. That's sad. Okay, you have another radio message, I suppose. Isn't it? It's a place where you can develop your knowledge. Where you can assert yourself at the expense of peers who, while immature, see the world differently. But am I... not the same? Fortunately, my man has long since left them behind, giving me a distinct advantage. It was like that... in my hometown. But now that I'm in this hellhole, my brother and I are outcasts. We're literally hated by everyone. From home to school, bullying. From school to home, bullying. But I tried to change things. I fought back against one of the bullies at school. Unfortunately, to no avail. That's sad. This story is getting sadder by the moment. Huh? Uh -huh. These are all those soft toys that we found around here. And what are those kilos? Why? What? I don't get it. Maybe it will make sense later on. Find six toys. Okay, we need to find. We have seen some of them. The penguin downstairs. For one. One here. Is there more in here? Is that the only soft toy? It's 
none in here, right? Nope. Downstairs. There's one sitting here, eh? Oh! You moved! Bring me a toy? You're moving! Quickly! Oh! Uh. Bring a toy. I have a toy. You scary bitch. Or whatever you are. Okay. Maybe it wants a specific toy. Hello? This game is scary as shit, man. Now we have the penguin in here. But I most certainly can't find six toys, you know? We have two now. <laughs> see if any of these toys pleases that scary thing in the television room. Okay, no. Look at this, man. What's wrong with you, man? Are we supposed to have an idea now what the combination is? Okay, we could only find two toys. And it's a monkey and a penguin. If you combine those two with this kilogram thingy, but that. Let's see if that does anything. And the monkey does a 7. The penguin is 35. That's only... That's only 3 digits. Hmm. Okay. Maybe that's not it. Uh, this... This might be the toy that... A scary thing downstairs want. I have a toy for you. Ah, oh. she gives us a soft toy. We're having fun? Now you look cute again. That's good. Ah. Now we have the four digits, right? Was it seven and thirty five and two? Seven, thirty five, two. Seven. 35, 2. Oh shit. I win. Haha. <laughs> you yeah. suck. But that was easy. 39, 71. 
You suck at tic-tac-toe. What did I say? 3971? Got it. It's a key. Okay. Not a crowbar. Wanna go again? I wanted to put it there. They made. It. <laughs> okay, it's not for this door. I have the bathroom door then. Yep. Hello. Yeah, another toy. Another note. I was forbidden to visit any place where people might meet. The mayor's personal animosity has returned into a complete negativity of the entire city. I've had groceries thrown under my door like a dog. I hate them all so much. I gotta hang in there for my grandkids. But people were really mean to this family. Not only the old woman, but also the grandkids. What the hell? What do we do now? Still need to find two more toys. Do you have more toys for me? No? Okay. Where do we find two more toys? have a good look around everywhere. Does this count as toy? There must all be soft toys, right? And what does these numbers mean? Yeah? Doesn't make any sense yet. Hail to find the rest of the toys. I haven't seen them anywhere. It's also very difficult to see anything, it's so dark and this shitty flashlight. <laughs> Any new toys? Appeared somewhere, maybe. No. Toys to upstairs. Oh, there's a toy. Yay! We have only have one more to go, right? Hey. Was six toys, yeah? Rip. What? Hello? This is not scary or weird at all.
Uh, this door is open. We have all the toys. Oh! Shit, we are locked in here, man. Hello? Let me out! Oh no. Let me out, please. Please let me out. Don't clap and laugh at me. Hello? Let me out. Please let me out. Hello? Thank you. <laughs> Shit dogs. So what do we do now? Find a crowbar. What about these toys? I haven't been able to find a crowbar yet. Do you want these six fluffy toys? Is that it? Ah. I think we have to seat them on these chairs upstairs, maybe. Were there six chairs? Yep. These are all the same toy. them in this order or what is there something with these kilos oh, that one's correct and then monkey here monkey okay that penguin pig rabbit Rabbit. Isn't that correct? It is. I must have something to do with that. Those kilo thingies. How does that make sense? Maybe go from low to high. So the rabbits first and monkey. Rabbit, monkey. Uh, rabbit, monkey. Penguin, sheep. Right? Rabbit, monkey, penguin, sheep. Pig. Teddy bear. No? That didn't do anything either. How does this make sense? But these are different digits. 
What? Bear 250 kilos. Monkey 7 kilos. Penguin 35. Pig? 200. But on the paper it says 90, you know? What? So the pig and the sheep is not correct on the paper, you know? According to to this. I have no clue how that works. Okay, this video has been almost an hour. But I want I want to finish it. Is this still only act one? So if you guys have any ideas how these are supposed to be seated, tell me in the comments down below. And please leave a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss episode number two. Thank you all for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.